We now know that on average, every single star in the Milky Way has at least one planet. And our Earth, assumed to be unique in our universe, may be only one of 11 billion planets capable of supporting life. So, are we alone? Statistically speaking, we shouldn't be. With well over 100 billion galaxies in our known universe, each with hundreds of billions of stars, the chances of life developing on even one of those trillions upon trillions of Earth-like planets approaches near certainty. But what would these beings be like? Science fiction has imagined creatures like us, humanoid bipeds with music, politics, art, and religion. We see religion as a uniquely human thing, no other animal on Earth approaches the same level of complexity in rituals, doctrines, mythologies. But what if religion is not uniquely human? What if an alien culture out there also practices their own form of religion? And what would happen to ours if they visit us someday? Many believe that humanity will abandon religion after alien first contact. Even in the 18th century, the American founding father Thomas Paine claimed that religion and the existence of intelligent alien life is incompatible. To believe that God created a plurality of worlds, at least as numerous as what we call stars, renders the Christian system of faith at once little and ridiculous, and scatters it in the mind like feathers in the air. 200 years distant from Thomas Paine, many feel the same way. Your report describes how rational these people are millennia ago. They abandoned their belief in the supernatural. Now you are asking me to sabotage that achievement? But theologians have already grappled with these issues. The Protestant preacher Thomas Calmers in the 1800s argued for the existence of extraterrestrial intelligent life. For him, denying this is tantamount to limiting the power of God himself. Why should we think that the great architect of nature, supreme in wisdom as he is in power, would call these stately mansions into existence and leave them unoccupied. The Vatican itself manages an observatory and a college of astronomers, some who have entertained the existence of intelligent alien life. In 2008, an astronomer, priest, and director of the Vatican Observatory surmised that the existence of alien life would not harm Catholic theology. Just as there exists a multiplicity of creatures on Earth, there can be other intelligent beings created by God. This does not contradict our faith, because we cannot put limits on the creative freedom of God. First contact alone wouldn't necessarily drive people to abandon religion. Theologians have prepared for this contingency, and our human religions have proven to be supremely adaptable in the face of new evidence. But it would change our theologies forever. Did Jesus die for the aliens too? Does the cycle of samsara include reincarnation as alien life? Do aliens have souls? Just like in the aftermath of Copernicus's heliocentric theory, we would need to abandon our anthropocentric universe, dismantle our notion that we are chosen as the only sentient beings with the unique ability to comprehend the divine. But if wholesale abandonment of religion is unlikely, what could we expect? Scholars over the past decade have taken up this thought experiment as the science of exoplanets has matured, including astronomer David Weintraub at Vanderbilt University, who authored the book Religions in Extraterrestrial Life, and Boston University professor John Hart, author of Cosmic Commons. Dr. Hart's book warns that first contact could mirror the economic and ethical injustices that were committed when European settlers first encountered the indigenous populations of North and South America. Indeed, technological imbalance between the two species could introduce a power differential, leading perhaps perhaps to forcible assimilation into alien religions. Forced conversion, though, is only one option. Perhaps we would convert willingly. How many of us would join an extraterrestrial faith out of sheer fascination of its alien belief system? Or how many aliens would join a human faith? I didn't realize you were familiar with Earth religions, Doctor. Oh, yes. In fact, while I was there, I made it a point to study a number of them. I spent two weeks at a Tibetan monastery, where I learned to sing chords with the high lamas. I attended mass at uh, St. Peter's Square. Yet another option remains, though, the melding of our respective faiths. A syncretism of human and alien religion produced out of our shared creative agency. Cultures throughout history have repeatedly shown a propensity to blend their beliefs and practices with others. Haitian Vodou draws on elements of Roman Catholicism and West African religions. Archaeological evidence from the ancient Mediterranean attests to practices that blend elements from Jewish, Christian, and Greco-Roman cults. First contact, then, may well result in a wellspring of new religious expressions born from a cultural exchange between two uncontacted intelligent species. We can only speculate, and all of this is just that, speculation. There is no evidence of alien life, intelligent or otherwise. 
As far as we know, we are alone in a universe of dust and gas, largely oblivious to our existence. And all of our religious beliefs, our doctrines, our rituals, deities and houses of worship, in all of their vast diversity, remain isolated on our solitary planet Earth.